Hi, I'm Darcel Lobo and I own Dow Law Firm and today we're going to talk about how to fund your revocable living trust. But let's first start and talk about what is a revocable living trust. It is an estate planning document where you are providing for the disposition of your assets within a revocable living trust as opposed to a will. With the revocable living trust, one of the main perks behind it is that it does not require to go through probate. And so that's one reason why clients will want to use a revocable living trust is that it avoids probate for your estate. However, in order for a revocable living trust to work, the trust has to actually own the assets. So when we create a revocable living trust estate plan for our clients, we are also funding that trust for you initially based on the assets that you own at the time. So what does that look like? How do you fund a revocable living trust? What do I even mean when I say that? For your real estate, if you own any real estate and it's in your name, when I do your revocable living trust, one of the documents we're also going to review and sign is a quit claim deed that transfers your real estate out of your personal name and puts it into your revocable living trust name. Now, during your lifetime, you are one and the same as your revocable living trust. So you have full authority over that property still. You can live there, you can rent it out, you can refinance it, you can sell it. Whatever you wanted to do, just the same as you would as if it was in your personal name. But putting it into your trust name allows your trust to control it, and you control it as a trustee of your own trust. But upon your passing, you have named someone as your successor trustee to make distributions according to the terms of your trust and your property is included inside that trust. The trust only works if it owns your assets. So if you have your primary residence and you have some investment properties or a rental property or a second home or any other real estate, we need to make sure that we get all that transferred into your trust. So I'm going to ask you about that during your initial consultation about what real estate you own. For any real estate you own in Washington State, which is where I am licensed to practice law, we will handle that for you. If you own any real estate outside of Washington State, I will help connect you with an attorney outside of this state, so whatever, whatever state the property is located in, we will get that transferred into your trust as well using an attorney who's licensed in that state. So that's how you fund your trust with real estate but you have other assets beyond just your real estate. So we also are looking at your financial accounts. So checking and savings and investments and any other kind of financial asset you have, we need to make sure that we review your beneficiary designations. So for a married couple, they'll usually have the spouse listed first, but if we create a trust for you, many times you may want that trust to be the alternate or contingent beneficiary to your spouse, meaning that those funds will come into your trust as well and be distributed according to the terms of your trust. And if you have multiple beneficiaries, that might be a more effective way to name the beneficiaries is just to name your trust and then your trust will control how that's distributed. So that's another way that you're going to fund your trust is ensure that your trust is named as a beneficiary if you want those accounts to come into your trust and be distributed according to the terms of those trusts. Now we also have other assets that don't have titles, that don't have beneficiaries, such as your personal property, the personal possessions in your home and things of that nature. So with your trust document, we're also going to prepare what is called a personal property assignment, which is signed by you that says whichever properties I own, I intend for those to be owned by my trust and distributed according to the terms of my trust. So upon your passing, we're gonna provide in your trust that says what goes where. Maybe everything goes to your children equally. Maybe it goes to a charity or friends or other family. We're gonna outline the details of your estate and those distributions in your trust. And so all of your assets will be in the trust and be distributed according to the terms of the trust. When you come to our office here at Dow Law Firm, we assist you with all of that. And we make sure that we have funded your trust when we create the trust and we sign those documents with you.
But that's only for that point in time. So if you acquire future real estate, if you open new financial accounts in the future going forward, you'll want to ensure that you have your trust named as at least the alternate beneficiary, not your primary beneficiary. If you acquire future real estate, you want to ensure they're giving us a call to say, hey, I bought this property. So we can get it into your trust for you because the key behind the revocable living trust is that it has to own the asset that you want it to control. So if you buy future real estate and it's only in your personal name, then it's not in your trust. And if you were to pass without it being transferred into your trust, it probably would need probate for that asset to be moved into your trust through probate. But the key behind the revocable living trust is that we want to avoid probate, but we can only do so again if it actually owns the asset. So if you have a trust, but you've acquired future assets and we need to get those into your trust for you, we're happy to do so. Give us a call. If you're looking to get an estate plan done and you're thinking about maybe a revocable living trust or have some more questions about it, give us a call. We're happy to help. I'm happy to schedule a consultation to discuss what your options are and figure out what's best for you. Our office number is 206-408-8158 or you can reach me by email. My email is darcel, D-A-R-C-E-L at dowlawfirm.com. Thank you and have a great day.